Hey, what's up everyone? Troy here with Restoring Eden. Uh, it's August 28th here in Seattle, Washington, 2020. And um, we are going to do a quick fruit review of the Flavor King Pluot. We just got one of these in the ground last year and uh, we've had them in our nursery for just two years now. And this is gonna be the first time I get to try this fruit. Um, so I'm really excited about it. I have, I've never had a fresh Pluot before. Well, I bought from Costco, but that doesn't count. So um, I've heard that the, uh, the quality, the taste is really good on these. It's, it's, a, it's kind of the best of both worlds when it comes to uh, a Japanese plum and an apricot. And it appears to grow really well here. Um, and um, so I'm hoping that this is a promising fruit. Yeah, that's unreal. I was not expecting that. That is um, just, just incredibly, incredibly juicy. Let me, hold on. Wow, wow. That's unique. I don't know what tones, what, what particular notes it's grabbing from the apricot. It's, it's really more of a plum flavor. Um, very fruity. Maybe, yeah, just a little bit of apricot, but, but it's, it's unique. I was kind of just really expecting like a strong plum flavor, but, but it has its own flavor profile. Um, very, very sugary and, and very, very fruity, which is nice. I really, I'm more and more, I want, um, actual flavors, not just sugar, you know, in the fruit that I'm going to grow in our own orchard. And this really fits the bill. There's something, uh, there's something unique about it that I've never uh, tasted before, which makes it exciting to grow. And I think it's really enjoyable. Mm. It has, it has a banana actually it has kind of like a tropical, uh, like fruit punch banana flavor to it that I'm really enjoying. And uh, so yeah, wow, that's, that, that is nothing, nothing like a plum, uh, a pluot that I've had at Costco. That doesn't, they don't even compare. Um, so wow, that's really different. I'm really excited about it. We have this tree planted in our orchard. So I'm hoping that next year we get a really bumper crop. One thing about the Flavor King and any of the Pluots is they do need cross-pollination, um, either with another uh, Pluot variety or with a Japanese plum that uh, flowers at the same time. But anyway, I've also heard uh, Flavor Grenade. A lot of people have been growing that in the Pacific Northwest and have gotten really good results. But Pluots are really kind of new to our area, introduced by Dave Wilson's. And so there's not uh, a whole lot of research or, or uh, you know, testing done on what varieties are gonna be best for our climate or anything like that. But, you know, we imagine they don't seem to have the same disease pressure as uh, apricots do, which are really notoriously hard to grow here. They seem to perform more like a Japanese plum, which tend to do really well here in our climate. So we're really optimistic about these and uh, time will tell, um, but we have a lot of trees that have been sold here and planted, so we'll get results in. But anyway, uh, take a look at the Pluots in particular, this flavor cane excellent flavor. Thanks guys.